everyone welcome back as we discussed in this class we are going to see counting vowels consonants digits white space and symbols let us directly go to the python window to create the program count number of vowels consonants digits white spaces and special characters let us take the input st is equal to input of i give the prompt to the user enter the string if you want to check the vowels and consonants that is alphabets user may give in capital letter or small letter we will make it to one particular thing so that when we are checking it will be easy for us so i will make that to lower case for that purpose i give dot lower of so after taking the input all the alphabets will be converted to lower case i need variables for each count i give v for vowels c for consonants d for digits for white space ws and then for special characters sc i give all these initialized as zero to extract each character of the string i will be traversing using for loop for i in st first let me check for vowels if i is equal to a or i is equal to e or i is equal to i or i is equal to o r i is equal to u so now we will count the vowels so that is indicated by using v plus equal to 1 i increment 1 similar way i will be giving l if to check the consonants instead of checking all the 21 letters i will find a short method where i will be using the ascii value of the character to check so ord of i this will give the ascii value of that particular character which is greater than or equal to small a is 97 however a is checked still we can give from the starting 97 and ord of i is lesser than or equal to 122 which is small z in this case we will be counting consonants that is c plus equal to 1 please understand if elif elif else ladder will be working only one block so when it is finding a e i o u that time it counts vowels in case it is not finding out then only it will come to the elif block to count the consonant so you never need to worry if it is repeated in this that will not be a logical problem now elif digits similar way digits also can be checked by using the ordinal value ord of i is greater than or equal to 48 that is 0 and ord of i which is lesser than or equal to 57 that is 9 so 0 to 9 all the digits are counted here i will be counting by increasing d plus equal to 1 similar way l if i is equal to white space directly i will give one white space there then it will count ws plus equal to 1 now we have checked all the alphabets digits and white spaces apart from this all these are considered into special characters so i will be using else here it will count yes c plus equal to 1 now let us come out of the loop and then print all the counts print of count of let it be in the single line backslash n and then backslash t one single tab i give vowels comma v now print backslash t consonants that is c I copy this so I can easily make the changes there. 
paste it here. Next we are going to make white spaces. So that is WS. Next we have special characters. That is S C. We forgot to give the digits. Let us give here. That is D. Now the total number of characters. That will be length of the string. I can take length of S T. So let us execute this. I missed out one equal to. Let me give there. Let me give time colon seven o'clock. See there, two symbols are there. That is special characters. One digit there. One space there. One, two, three, four vowels are there. Four vowels, consonant six, digits one, white space one, special characters two. If we count, it should be equal to the length. Four plus six, ten plus one plus one plus two is fourteen. Correct. We can also do the program in other way. Let us also do that. Instead of checking like this, I will have another method where I will give p o w is equal to a string containing all a e i o u. I just now check whether i is in v o w. So in is the membership operator. It checks whether it is present in the v o w. In case it is true, then vowels are counted. Similar way, I can also have instead of having the ordinal value it's in the string alphabet. So i in Directly, I can also have here B, C, D, E is not there, F, G, H, I is not there, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now this will be counting consonants. Similar way, I can also give. I in zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. Let us execute this. I am giving the same thing. Time seven o clock. We could get the same result. Hope you understand both the ways of program. It is not that you can use only these two methods. There may be several ways. The programming depends on each mind. Let us meet in the next class with another program. Thank you.